All right, now I'm gonna put the front pulleys on and the timing belt on. So I've already pushed in all of my seals. These four seals are all the same. The crank, the, in, the intermediate shaft for the oil pump, intake cam, exhaust cam. So I'm gonna start by putting on the, the gears and I'm just gonna kind of lightly tighten them up and then I'll do the final torque once the timing belt is on and I don't have to worry about getting the, the cams and the crank out of sync. I want to point out that um, there are two timing marks on the exhaust cam gear. Um, this gear is used for the 16 valve, uh, the previous generation engine. So if you go to put this gear on and the, the timing mark does not line up with the timing mark on the case, because remember, right, we, uh, when we put the cams in, we have the keyways at the straight up and down position, which is TDC on the camshaft. So if you go to put the gear on and the timing mark doesn't line up, you probably have it on backwards. Because here, if I put it on this way, the, the, the little mark lines right up with the notch in the top of the, of the cover here, of the valve cover. And then for the intake cam, there's a little, uh, a little sheet metal um, disc with a notch in it. That is for the cam position sensor. So the little sensor that's going to go up there is going to look for that notch. The front, the, the, the crankshaft gear is pretty self-explanatory. There's a little notch on that which lines up with the keyway. There's no timing mark on this gear that I've been able to, to see. But um, I do have the, the cylinder number one at TDC. So the, the, there's two holes in this gear and the keyway is pointed straight up in line with the, uh, with, with the cylinder bores. So. That's how you know this is TDC. When you put the gear on, is the notch upward. Um, I think the mark for this is on the harmonic damper, which then goes on top of this gear. And then the last one we put on is the intermediate shaft, the oil drive gear. Uh, this only fits on one direction. And now we're ready to put on the, the tensioner pulley for the timing belt. So this has an eccentric uh, mount on it so that when you, when you mount it on the, the head, there's this little metal tab. The, uh, the tensioner plunger is gonna push against this tab and as it pushes up, it's going to flex the belt outward to, to give it more tension. So now I'm gonna put the, the belt on. The belt's gonna go around the tensioner tensioning pulley over the camshaft. Again, making sure our notch is straight up. The, uh, the intermediate shaft doesn't have an orientation because it's, it's not keyed in any way. So you just have to make sure the other things, the, the crank and the cam are in their correct positions. Now I'm going to put the, the new tensioner, the, the tensioner spring on. Um, there's this little pin that comes with a new one that's holding the plunger in place. And I just have to make sure that I rotate this. Well, I 
you can kind of start by getting one, one bolt started. Now I can swing the, the tensioner up so the little plunger is pushing on the tab of metal. And I can kind of flex the, the, the tensioner spring so I can line the holes up. And I can thread the two little M6 bolts in. And I'm going to snug these down. And then the last thing, or I guess the second to last thing to do, is to put on the, this little idler roller that goes on the end of the tensioner here. You get a new roller with the timing belt kit and a new bolt comes with the tensioner. And the easy way to do that is to kind of grab the belt and flex it towards the intermediate shaft. And you can get enough clearance to start threading that in. is tight. Make sure the pulley's tight. And now it should be free to turn over, keeping everything in, in time. So I'm just going to Give it a few rotations and make sure I'm happy with how everything moves. All right. Make sure my, my marks are still lining up when the crankshaft is straight. I've got my mark at the top lining up, so I'm, uh, I'm happy with that position. So now that everything's done, I'm going to pull out this little clip, and it's going to put full pressure on the tensioner now. So I'm going to start with crank torquing down the, the crank bolt. The spec on it is 67 foot-pounds plus an additional 90 degrees. I've threaded a bolt back into the back of the crankshaft, which is now hitting the engine stand, so it's essentially holding it still. Depending on how your engine stand placement is, that may or may not work. I've also frequently threaded in two bolts in the back of the crankshaft and then used a pry bar or a large screwdriver to wedge it and to hold it into place. So this way I'm going to torque it to my 67 which is right there. And then I could either eyeball the quarter turn or I can use my, my digital angle gauge after it calibrates. So 90 degrees quarter turn and preload it. Start. And the cam, the in, exhaust cam gear gets torqued to 48 foot pounds. Exhaust one gets torqued to 16 foot pounds. And the oil pump intermediate shaft also gets torqued to 48 foot pounds. And now it's time to install the little cam position sensor. 